Stay free from rigid gender roles. I don't know about you, but lately I've been bombarded with like this archaic ways of thinking about male and female, that women somehow have to be submissive and men have to be the dominant. That's not the only frame, but there are many frames like these ones that are locking us within boxes. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to live in a box. I'm not limited by the projections of society that tells me what I should be doing or thinking as a man. Freedom! We want to be free, so we want to break those boxes. Listen, I'm not saying that in some situations that specific gender role might be appropriate. For instance, you might be in a sensual situation with your partner and you are a man and engaging with a little bit of sensual dominance or erotic dominance might be really sexy and she will like it. But if this is the only box that you're using, you're going to be very limited very soon. You are going to feel stagnant. You are going to feel like your relationship is not moving. You want to have the full range of possible emotions, not just one or two. <laughs> not be within this, this box and within these gender roles where uh, the woman is being submitted or being locked within a very specific frame. And uh, anytime she starts to move away from that, we're going to shame her. We're going to be like, you are way too masculine. You are way too controlling. You know, all these projections that we have on each other. So we don't want to do that. We want to enter into a space of freedom. And may I, my advice for myself and for you is do whatever works for you. Okay. Number one, it is, does it feel good to you? If it doesn't, stop doing it. Okay. Number one. Number two is that in certain contexts, you are going to be uh, modulating or modifying slightly aspects of your behavior or your mind, the way you communicate, depending on the context that you are in. The way you are going to communicate in, for instance, romantic relationships, it's going to be very different than the way you communicate when you are in business mode. If you are at a meeting with the CEO of a big company, you are not going, going to communicate with that person with the same patterns that you have when you communicate with your partner, with your wife or girlfriend or husband, right? This is really important to understand. Different settings will bring or attract different behaviors inside of us. We need to be smart and be mature.